Hi everyone, it's Ann here from Ann Makes. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below or click on the Ann Makes in the bottom of the screen there. And also hit that little bell so you will be notified every time I post a new video. So today I am bringing you a Dollar Tree haul. That's right. I went to Dollar Tree on Friday. We are now Monday and I just didn't have a chance to film the video before that. And right now I'm also uploading some other videos uh, for you guys. So uh, yeah, there's some new videos coming around. And so let's get into what I found at Dollar Tree. Of course, I went to Dollar Tree for a few things that my family needed. I was in need of some cleaner for some um, yucky mold stuff, you know, in the house. So this one is new to me. So I got the Tile Plus Mold. Uh, deep penetrating, powerful, clean, molded, mildew, stain remover, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's made in the U.S. And, yeah, so it's a pretty substantial bottle. A pretty good price, I think, compared to what I would have to pay in uh, another store for some, for a product similar to that. I picked up a few more uh, bubble mailers. These only come in a two-pack under the 3M, but I wanted to have these on hand because I didn't have any of this size left. Now, of course, I can't pass up all the, the school supplies, and I picked up two of these little pencil boxes that are that have a little snap closure and that function like a little drawer. They're just really handy to keep in here in my studio for storing all sorts of pencils and drawing materials and tools and I can stack them up quite easily and it prevents a lot of my tools from uh, breaking or getting damaged. I saw these uh, self laminating labels and they say that they are dishwasher safe so you these are great for back to school of course uh, for labeling like uh, lunch you know, uh, containers, lunch containers, and bottles for water, and things like that. And apparently they're microwave safe, so I thought, well, that, that might be good. I'm going to test them out. Uh, my children don't want label. <laughs> my children don't, uh, you know, bring lunches to school anymore. They So we've passed that stage, but uh, I thought I would try these just to label containers in the refrigerator to see if they would hold better than some other labels I have. I don't, want to, I don't want to test them out in the freezer, so I don't know if these will work, but it's worth a shot. So uh, there's 34 pieces in here, and that's what they look like. Uh, they, had a, they had a bottle of Dawn three times uh, concentrated uh, dish soap. I really like the three times. I like this blue dawn. Um, I save this for really, really greasy and tomatoey stained plastic containers. And I just have to put a few drops of this with some super hot water and let it soak. And it really does help um, keep my plastic containers in my kitchen clean. So I, that's why I picked up a bottle like this. I will use this very sparingly only when I need to and it will last me a very long time so I like that stuff I saw these nasal strips smart flex nasal strips apparently these are good when you have uh, like congested nose and a cold or you know a sinus infection and goodness knows I had a I had a lot of that this spring and I uh, just thought we'd give these a try. I don't, I've never tried these before, but I thought of having them in our, in our stash might be good for the next time one of us has a bad cold and, you know, we're just having trouble sleeping and breathing. Ugh, yeah, not fun. Uh, my, this is very random. I'm just pulling the stuff out of the bag. You know, it's not very organized. My son chose some of these apple bars. We like cookies, so he got this. And I saw they had another package of the Vortman coconut cream wafers, so I got these. I really love these. These are so yummy. 
And uh, of course I got some more nibs. We love our nibs. And bubble gum or the bubble gum machine. Only one person in our family that loves bubble gum. That's my son. So that's why I get that. I picked up another bottle of the 70% rubbing alcohol, the spray on kind from Delon. And this will be for my boys to keep in their bathroom so they can periodically uh, give a little spritz to their razors and just keep them uh, sanitized so they don't get, you know, rash or infections from shaving. So I just got that for them. Uh, I picked up a tube of all-purpose caulk. Uh, white and white so it's caulking so that is a little project included with this that I have to do myself a little DIY that I have to do in our uh, washroom because I am fed up literally fed up of waiting for contractors and house cleaners to do uh, a small job so uh, I will do it myself. Now, and after that I will reward myself with some little canvases. I saw these uh, long and narrow canvases. They are four inches by 12 inches. And I thought, you know, if you, you paint a painting on the three panels like this, that might be cute or just make signs out of them. I don't know, there's different possibilities for these little canvases. A size that I don't see very often and I just wanted to have some in my stash. So I got those. Oh, we were in dire need of a new pair of tongs in the kitchen. So I picked these up and that will go in the kitchen. Correction fluid, the fluid kind. This is the only time of year I can find this stuff. So uh, when I saw it, I said, yep, I'm picking up a bottle. This will probably last me the whole year. It's rare that I need to use the, the liquid kind, but I really like having it on hand for small little touch-ups on projects. I uh, got this little planner for my son, a 2018-2019 student planner. And... I got some more of the Kikuman sauce, the teriyaki, and the sweet and sour. You can't beat the price. They're just fabulous prices on these. And they're really quick way to add flavor to some um, a stir fry, to add to even your chicken nuggets, just some beef that you cook really quickly and you have rice and noodles. It's just, it's fabulous for that. So, Oh, I picked up these acrylic or plastic champagne glasses from this style. It's hard to see. They have two styles at the Dollar Tree, so I got one of each that they had in this style. Too. It's, yeah, I'm sorry. It's hard to, to show you what they look like with the, the packaging and the lighting there. Uh, this is for some DIY that I have in mind. And yeah, I just needed something like acrylic, see-through, tall, to make like a little tower. So, I don't know if this will work, but we'll give it a shot. I told you it was random. <laughs> All right, next, uh, I picked up one of these, one more of these uh, little cotton balls with the pine cones and the fake wheat, fake wheat. It's quite an interesting combination, just saying. So, um, yeah, but anyway, um, fake cotton balls, fake pine cones, fake wheat stem. The, the colors and the shapes are look really pretty together. It's an odd combination, but it, they look pretty. Uh, the Dollar Tree I go to the most was putting out their new, uh, not their new, but they received a whole shipment of baskets and storage stuff, and they had three packs. 
These usually are sold in a two pack, but they have some three packs. So I picked up a couple of these long baskets in the three pack. So I get a little bit more for my money. And they also had the smaller rectangle baskets in three packs as well. They had two packs that was uh, stuff from a previous shipment and the new shipment had some three packs. So you might want to check out your Dollar Tree because this is a time of year when they bring out a lot of these uh, like storage and uh, kitchen sponges and plastic containers in three packs. It'll be mixed with the two packs. It's like a little bonus that they have. So I noticed that at my store. So it must be happening in other stores as well. I also picked up another pair of these uh, inexpensive reading glasses. I got some pink ones. I'm always losing my glasses. I keep, I look for them. I have one prescription pair that I cherish. And the rest of, and the rest I have are these inexpensive reading glasses and I just leave them all over the house. I have them in all my purses and my car and yeah. So I have reading glasses everywhere. Uh, uh, this is one of the things I really needed to pick up, so I did. Got the napkins. And now for the goody stuff. Oh, well, oh, one more thing. Uh, they had new stuff in the hardware section and including a sharpening stone. I have to learn how to use this properly. I'm not sure how to use a sharpening stone to sharpen my tools from my, my gardening tools and stuff, but I'm willing to learn. And I also picked up now in the yeah, now in the craft supply office supply aisle, my favorite aisle, they had they Jot has some new of the new magnetic clips. So these are great for like people who have a locker and I use these on my refrigerator or on my little craft carts that I have here. So I got a couple packages of these ones because they had pink. I also picked up a package of 10 pencil grips. I want to try these on some charcoal sticks and pastel sticks that I have in my studio to see if they'll fit. And the idea is that it, it's to keep my hands clean when I use um, those mediums. Now, these had just been put out at my store. The skinny tapes, skinny deco tapes. And these are the colors that were available. This. Um, a lot of the same stuff. As before I think but a few new ones and what's the other one I got this one so, got that oh and this was in the beauty aisle sorry this was just mixed up in here uh, some hair coloring brushes so I thought this is really neat to find and wow, what a good price. So they're, you know, for those of us who want to hide the gray hairs or to change our color and we do hair coloring at home. Uh, yeah, these are tools for that. So that's a pretty good deal. And then last but not least was the find of the day. These new paint pens from Jot. Yes, paint pens, look at that. Jot has paint pens. Isn't that great? So uh, for those of us who are crafty, this is awesome. These are the colors that were available at my store. Uh, I think I got all the colors. I, I don't know if there's more colors, but this is what was at my store. I make sure I got them all. Oh yes, there's also a gold and a black and a silver. So, gold, black, silver. Here, let's try this again. 
So, the score of the day is these Jot Paint Markers. And these are the colors I found at uh, my store. So, you might want to go check out your Dollar Tree to see if they have paint pens. And they are the flammable kind. They have, they're all fine line. And I have not tried them yet. They are ideal for wood, plastic, metal, and glass. Danger, flammable. Oh, that's normal. Shake up and down with cap on before use. Press tip down until paint begins to flow. To avoid blotting position, tip upward and depress it before initial use. And yeah, so these are just paint pens. So I'll open one up to test it for you guys. I'll just use the cardboard packaging. So keep the cap on, shake it. You can hear a little ball inside, that's good. That's what you wanna hear. Cap off, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Now we're gonna pump, pump it. I'm just, I'm just pumping it like that, pump it. It's brand new, so. Takes, usually takes longer for a brand new paint marker to um, activate. And there we go. So, ta da! That is what it looks like. Nice! They do have a, that, they do have a slight paint marker scent. It's not too bad, it's not overwhelming. So, there you go. So, that was the score of the day, and I'm real. I was really excited and uh, to share that with you. Paint pens at Dollar Tree. How can we go wrong? So that is that for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you uh, found this interesting, and uh, that you know, you if you are a crafter like me and loves craft supplies, you might want to check out your Dollar Tree too. Uh, so have fun, take care of yourself, stay crafty, and I will see you uh, for the next video. Bye!